Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Pointwise Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, I'll explain the basic concept of the model and quilt hierarchy that we have in Pointwise. It's our version of solid modeling. If you've used Pointwise for any length of time, then you've already worked with models and quilts at least a little bit. In fact, if you're using our new automatic surface meshing, then the best way to enter that feature is after simplifying and selecting one watertight closed model. So how are models and quilts organized? Well, first let me say that each surface has a quilt overlaid on it that looks just like the surface. Uh, now, the advantage of this will be shown in just a moment. For the time being, though, each quilt belongs to a model, and the model represents the top of the hierarchy. In fact, if you hover your mouse over a database and click the left mouse button, it is the model that will be selected first. Using the spacebar allows you to toggle to the underlying quilt. This is all just to say that models contain quilts and not the other way around. Now each of these models has at least one quilt, but it can handle many more. Quilts are built upon one or more surfaces, and once those quilts are made, their underlying surfaces are then hidden. And models and quilts can be assembled to reduce overall entity count and to simplify. And the goal of all this, of course, is one single watertight model. This makes it really easy to jump into a lot of pointwise features, including the automatic surface meshing. So let's jump right into an example. Let's imagine this is the upper surface of a wing. In my CAD file, it was defined by these six separate colorized areas. I'd like to have one giant surface domain in the end, but this is how it imported right now, and we have six different quilts, each one belonging to its own model. Let's visualize this. Hover the mouse, and you can see over in the list it says Model 1. If I select that, it highlights it. Model 2, Model 3, Model 4, Model 5, and, of course, Model 6. Now, each of these models contains one quilt. I can prove it. I can hover the mouse over Model 1, and if I toggle the spacebar, Quilt 1 gets highlighted. So right now, we have one quilt per model. Let's go ahead and simplify this. Let's select all six models, and up on the toolbar, I push assemble models and now we have one model and it says down here that we assembled six models into one model now of course this makes it really easy to select everything and if I go up to domains on database entities I suddenly have surface domains this is fantastic right well there's only one problem it put one domain per quilt because there are six quilts well let's make it even better I'll undo that I'm going to select all six quilts, and I can simplify those as well by pushing the Assemble Quilts button. And now we should have one giant quilt. So I select the model, I go up to Domains on Database Entities, and voila! I have one giant domain. So as you can see, the use of models and quilts really simplifies creating domains later on in your model. Thank you for watching! If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.